Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and I'm here in the woods of Alaska, and I'm gonna be building the ultimate bunk bed bushcraft shelter. My five-year-old son, Jacob, is gonna be joining us. It's gonna be a great time. We're gonna eat good food, and you guys are gonna enjoy this video. That's a footprint of a snowshoe hare right there. Those are snowshoe hare poops. And sure enough, there's a rabbit right over there. As long as I pretend like I can't see him, he is just gonna sit right there. There he is. Just stop to look back at me and see if I'm chasing him. If you ever scare up a rabbit, just be cool. And they'll usually stop right before they get out of sight to look back at you. All right, we've got plenty of dead wood for our shelter and for a fire. I think this looks like a pretty good spot right here. I'm gonna build my shelter between these three dead trees, but I'm gonna need to chop down at least 12, 15 dead trees. I need a little snack break. I got a very Alaskan lunch here. Okay, if you haven't spent a lot of time in the Alaska bush, you might not be familiar with pilot bread. It's a shelf-stable cracker, kind of like a saltine with less salt, and it's one of the four basic food groups in the bush here in Alaska. Now, pilot bread is a little bit dry, so you need something to wash it down with, and for that, I like powdered tang. And if you go out in the bush and someone offers you orange juice and bread, there's a good chance you're gonna get this. Got some smoked wild caught sockeye salmon to go with it. Mm. All right, I got a good pile of trees going here. I need to take all the limbs off them. To do that, I'm gonna use a Japanese nata. This is like a hatchet with a chisel edge.
That seems nice. I've only been here for three hours and the sun's already setting. Oh, it gets dark so quick up here. All right, guys, here's my bag of lamps. About five pounds of just lights. We have 18 hours of darkness here. So you gotta bring a lot of lights and a lot of batteries. And this right here is my box of batteries. So I've got 16 GoPro batteries and a backup battery for my cell phone and for my GPS. That weighs another five pounds. So between camera batteries and camera lights, I've got about 10 pounds of gear I bring with me at a minimum on every one of these trips. I'm sure I'll find those in the spring. Well, I didn't get as much done as I was hoping, but the sun has set and I'm running on twilight. So I need to hurry up and get some firewood and gather up everything around the camp because it's going to get really dark real quick. I brought along a couple caribou hides. The hairs of a caribou are hollow, so they make really good insulators. I'm getting hungry. I need to cook some dinner. Oh, that dry dead pine goes up like gasoline. Oh, the temperature's dropped. I'm gonna bundle myself up a little bit. Oh. We're gonna have some hot tang. You know, cold tang is okay, but when you heat it up, it's like wassail or spiced oranges. It's actually really good. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for dinner. I'm gonna be making something special. I'm roasting lamb shank. Oh, I love lamb. Got a touch of olive oil here. Just want it oily so that all the herbs will stick to it. We're gonna set it over this fire and just sear the outside. Oh yeah, nice sear on that. Now we're gonna roast it slow and low. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some rosemary, thyme, and parsley to the roast. I'm 
Oh my goodness, this smells amazing and it sounds amazing. I don't know what it is about shelling peanuts, but they taste so much better when you shell them yourself. I think it's a metaphor for life. You just enjoy things a lot more when you have to work for them. All right, I got a little Indian butter curry and some instant rice to go with my lamb here. I'm gonna start boiling that up. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I also brought along a couple pieces of naan too, because you know, why not? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. There we go, guys. Roasted lamb shank, butter curry, and naan. That is. Oh, it smells amazing. All right, we're going to try out this lamb shank. That is so good. I don't eat lamb enough. Mm. Oh, just salt and pepper is so good. Oh, the curry's good too. Mm. Oh, I am stuffed. All right, well, I need to do some dishes. It's time to get ready for bed. I was getting into bed and I knocked my pillow into the fire and I jumped down and grabbed it, but the damage was done. Now it's got a little hole in it. I have got a little stuff sack and my tarp came in. Now I'm gonna put my down jacket inside and we're gonna do a little DIY pillow. Ah, there we go. Not too bad of a solution. Gotta be careful, wanna make sure I don't drop anything else in the fire, including myself. Luckily, I don't roll around much, so I think I should be okay. I'm going to put up this camera, and I'm going to see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, man, I slept really well last night. I'm so warm in this bag. When the fire was still going, it was heating the platform from underneath, and it would just be this nice, gentle, warming feeling coming up through the mat. But even with the fire out, I'm still a lot warmer than sleeping on the ground. I mean, the ground just sucks the heat out of you. And being off the ground makes a big difference. But I think it's time for me to get up and build a fire and make some breakfast. <laughs> Boots are nice and frozen. Ugh. Oh, I feel like ski boots. Some maple syrup. All right, it is hard to beat blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. All right, time for seconds here. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Oh. When I was a kid, me and my family would go camping here in Alaska, 
and we would go berry picking and pick wild blueberries and mom would make blueberry pancakes every morning. This brings back a lot of fun memories. All right, I think it's time to start cleaning this party up. Hey, Tink, you doing good? Yeah, I'm Southwestern. Very neat in here. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. You good? Yeah. Hey, Jacob, give me a high five. I'm impressed. You snowshoed a long way, bud. I did. Yeah. Without resting that much. Yeah, you didn't rest that much. Should we start getting camp set up? Here, go like that. This one's heavy, but sh Get all that snow off our bed. All right, guys, this is me and Jacob's shelter for the night. I want to finish it up. I want to go ahead and put some walls on it and get it all battened down because it's a lot windier today. So we're going to be a lot more exposed to the elements. Well, finding dead trees to cut won't be a problem. About nine out of 10 trees here are dead already. In the summertime, this place is a massive forest fire risk, so thinning out some of these dead trees won't be a bad thing. That one? Okay. How you doing, Jake? You getting cold? Yeah. Oh, what's cold? Your hands? Yeah. Let me see your gloves. Hey. Okay. Go. We're gonna stick them in Daddy's pocket to get them warmed up. We got some backup gloves. Shove them in. Mittens. They are mittens. Well, I have your gloves dry in my pocket. When those feels better, then we can switch your gloves back if you want. Hey Jacob, are you feeling a little cold? You want me to make a little bed for you? Yeah. Okay. Boo. Yeah, we're gonna take off your snowshoes. I've taken my boys camping in some pretty gnarly conditions and one thing I've learned, never skimp on the kid's sleeping bag. Because if all else fails, you can always put them in their sleeping bag. Up. I like to hop in. Hop in. Hey, Jake, you feeling better? Mm -hmm. You like your sleeping bag? Yeah. Your feet nice and toasty? Yeah. All right. Like that? You ready for some hot dogs? Yeah! I got my marshmallow stick ready. All right. You want to roast that? Yeah, you're doing a good job with that, Jake. You like your hot dog? Yes. Ah, it's hard to beat a hot dog over a campfire. Mmm. <laughs> You nice and toasty in your sleeping bag? Yeah. You want me to get rid of the smoke? Yeah. 
Okay. I got Jacob fed and warm. Now I need to go ahead and process all this wood. One thing I wanted to change about this fort after my last camp out was I want to make this platform a little wider. Nice little pile of timber there. Jake, you a little hungry? Yeah. You know what this is? Yeah. It's cookie dough. That's what the cookies look like before you put them in the oven. You like that? What do you think, Jake? Is that pretty cozy in there? Well, I've been working like a dog from sunrise to sunset, but unfortunately that's not a very long time here in Alaska. Gotta bust out my lamps. We're bed ready too. I'll tell you, these ice fishing sleds make really good beds for little boys. You put them on a couple logs so they're up off the ice. Just put a little foam mat in the bottom of this thing. Now ah, that'll make a cozy little bed tonight. Oh. You probably need a pillow, huh? You want a little headlamp? Is now. First off, they, they are scared of people. Because people kill wolves. Don't you worry. Slippers. Slippers. Little camping booties to keep your feet warm. You can wear these in your sleeping bag. Yeah, see? No cold toes. I think we should build a fire, don't you? Oh, wow. This shelter just jumped like 20 degrees. It is so warm in here. But I gotta keep this fire mellow. I don't wanna melt my tarp. Well, me and Jake are sitting here around the fire and we're having a conversation about wolves. What do you think about wolves, Jake? They're scary. You worried about any wolves coming and getting us? Yeah. Did daddy tell you you're safe? Yeah. Do you believe daddy? No. No. <laughs> the wolves are scared of people and will stay far away, especially if you have a campfire. The biggest danger around here is moose, but just give them enough space and they'll leave you alone. Oh, that fire was roaring. It was getting to be a bit much in this shelter. So I went ahead and moved it outside and took some of the coals and put them right here. And I'm going to go ahead and start cooking some dinner. All right, as usual, I got a little something special prepared for dinner. We're going to have some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. This is going to be good.
right, we gotta get Jacob some food. Hey, Jacob. Jacob, buddy. Oh, we, we lost you there, bud. You okay? How about a big sandwich? Yeah, that sounds good. What do you think of that? Does that look good? I like this. You like this, Jake? Yeah, this is hitting the spot. I think I might need to have another one of those. All right, I got something a little special for dessert here. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's got strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Cream. Look at this. We got pie for you. You want me to spoon it into your mouth? Just because I love you so much and you're so tired. Well, you like you, you like dad spooning pie into your mouth? Ah. Oh. Yeah, we don't we don't feed you pie in bed at home, do we? Is that good? Yeah. No point in leaving leftovers, right? Mm. Oh, that was good. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I I got you. No, oh, that was good. All right, guys, I'm going to read Jacob some stories my dad used to read to me and my brother when we were out camping. This is a collection of true bear stories from around Alaska. Some of these stories are a little bit intense, so I'm going to try to pick an age-appropriate one here. The bear then lunged at him, and they embraced in a death struggle, the man using his knife and the bear its fangs and claws. Well, we've had a good time reading stories and eating whipped cream, but Jacob's fallen asleep, and I think it's time for me to get my bed ready, too. Well, you know, guys, I'm pretty proud with the progress I made on this shelter, and I've got a lot to do tomorrow. So we're going to have a full day, full day tomorrow, but I better get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about an hour before sunrise. And me and Jake are doing well. It's a little cold in here, but uh, we're going to get a fire started and get all nice and toasty again. Yeah. Did you get attacked by wolves? No. All right, Jake, you want to get some breakfast? We've got little uh, raspberry strudels and chocolate croissants. Because we can. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Oh, I'll watch my fingers. I also got some chicken and apple uh, breakfast sausages here. We're going to cook those up. I also got a couple eggs here. We're gonna cook those by the fire. Stick those right there. Hungry at all. What? There we go. Well, listen, I got a bit of building to do today, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up and uh, then we're gonna get to work. This is going pretty fast. Evil. 
Heavy sound. Like it soaks while that soaks. All right, let's test it out. Now I just need to do a little trim up. I need to make these edges nice and clean, make these logs all the same length. Well, not too shabby. That is a sharp looking shelter right there. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Yeah, when you pull the tarp over the top, that thing will get sealed up really good. I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made today. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get a chance to camp in it tonight. Because Jacob, do you wanna go home and see mama? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit left I wanna do on this shelter, so I think I'll save that for my next camp out. You good? Yeah. You like it when you ride out in your sleeping bag? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's tons of bunny tracks here, Jay. That's where the bunnies have eaten the bark off the tree. That's what they eat in the wintertime. I can see it, we're almost there. All right, we made it. And it looks like some animals have been visiting. This is a moose track from only a day ago. So many rabbit tracks here. Let's see if they went inside. Yeah, there was a bunny went inside our board. We had house guests. You know, that's pretty hard to do with snowshoes on there, Jake. No, it's not. There we go. Now go try that ladder. Yeah, now you're climbing it like a champ. Why don't you use the shovel to clean off the snow there?
How you doing? Are you getting cold, Jacob? Yeah. Do you want to get in your sleeping bag? Yeah. Can you get some caribou hides down. There we go. These snowy boots off. Pants off. Get yourself all warmed up. Get down deep in that sleeping bag. You want me to get your blankie? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Ah, Jacob's such a trooper. He's been following me around in his snowshoes for the last two hours, but his fingers are all cold. So I threw him in a sleeping bag, gave him some toys and his blankie. He's good to go. If you're going to take kids out in this weather, have a good sleeping bag. A good sleeping bag can fix a lot of problems. All right, well, the shelter's looking pretty good. I just need some final touches. I really need a chair in there. Now that we got that done, I think we need to get some firewood chopped up.
Sun's starting to set. Time to get out our lamps. Well, now they got my lights on. I think I need to get a little organized here. This is a bit of a mess. Oh, this fire's just barely started and it's already warming up. This shelter just concentrates that heat so well. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, is this warm? Yeah. You like the trail mix, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably pretty hungry, huh? I got a little boy who told me he's hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and get a hot dog going. Oh no! Oh, hang in there, Weenie! Oh, yeah. That's a good-looking hot dog. I'm so excited. The white-bellied Jacob hides in his burrow and eats his prey. <laughs> you like your hot dog? Yes! All right, it's time to start cooking some dinner, and I've got this big cube of butter here with rosemary, basil, and garlic in there. And we're gonna just sit this by the fire and let it get all melty and mix together. Well, I got a sweet potato here and I've split it long ways and put cinnamon butter inside and wrapped it in tin foil. We're gonna throw it on the coals and let this thing slow cook till it's nice and soft. You getting too hot, Jake? There we go. Here's your slippers. Yeah, these little camp booties are nice. All right, are you hungry? Yeah, I'll get you some crab legs. Well, the sweet potato is almost done, so I think it's time to start cooking the main course. King crab legs, look at these things. Check out, this is just one king crab leg. It's over two feet long. Look how thick that is too. So much meat on these things, they're so delicious. Nice thing about crab legs, they're always pre-cooked. So all you gotta do is just heat them up and eat them. And I take my pot holder. this massive joint that is a solid piece of meat right there dip that in the rosemary garlic butter oh that is so good mm. there's so much meat on these crabs that one knuckle was like a whole lobster tail it is Oh, yeah, look at that sweet potato. Oh. Mm. oh, that sweet potato is good. Got a piece of cornbread for you, too. Okay. These are on the outside with crabs. Take a little bit of this meat. A little butter on there. King crab, sweet potato, and cornbread. You ready? Do I hold it? Yeah, yeah, you can hold it. Do I would say do that? Daddy, I'm sorry. Well, there we go. Look at that plate of food. Oh, so good. Mm. That rosemary butter is so good. Mm. Oh, I just inhaled that. Well guys, I got a belly full of food and I am exhausted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my bed ready and get into the, my sleeping bag. But uh, it's way too hot in here. I've got to go put this fire down. Otherwise I'm gonna roast tonight. Oh, 
my socks are kind of sweaty, so I'm gonna take my socks off and stick them in the bottom of my bag to dry. I wanna put on these slippers to keep my feet warm. All right, guys, it's late. It's time for bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, the sun's up, but I am slow getting up and at them. It's nice and toasty in my bag. Oh, this is the hardest part of winter camping. <laughs> oh, I'm so brave. Oh. When you first start the fire, it just fills this thing with smoke. Once the fire gets hot though, it clears the smoke out. There we go, it'll warm my boots up. A lot of ice on the inside of this tarp. It snowed just a little bit last night. There's a lot of condensation and ice on this tarp. How are we doing? Well, these are all nice and toasty. Oh, my socks are nice and warm and dry. Well, since I'm up and about, I'm gonna go ahead and put my sleeping bag away. Don't want it falling in the fire or smelling like smoke. Melting sleeping bags has been a problem lately. Well, now that I got things straightened up in here a little bit, I think it's time to start making some breakfast. Hey, good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Daddy. You hungry? Not right now. Jake, you want chocolate croissant? I've got a hot chocolate to dip it in. Yeah. Here, let me test it out, make sure it's good. Mmm. You like that? All right, guys, for breakfast, we're having steel cut oatmeal. All right, we got a lump of butter and some brown sugar. There you go, you're gonna have the rest, bud. <laughs> All right. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times, steel cut oatmeal is so much better than instant oatmeal. Mm. Fills you up properly too. Hey Jake, you like the oatmeal? Did you make me poop? And be swung. Yeah, it will. Oatmeal's an excellent source of fiber. Ah, <sighs> feels nice to have a belly full of warm food. Well, now that we got breakfast out of the way, I think I need to clean up a little bit. Place is getting messy. All right, buddy. Yeah, let's get you. Get in there. Two of them. Whoop. Hey, Jake, you good? Yeah. All right, we got Jacob loaded up somewhere in there. You cozy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish somebody would pull me in a sled while I was snuggled in a sleeping bag. That'd be pretty nice. Well, that's bear poo right there. They're starting to wake up. So many rabbit poops down there. Well, today is the day we're gonna put a roof on this shelter and seal it up.
I'm starting to get a little hungry. I think I'm gonna make some lunch. I got some beautiful white bratwurst for lunch. Oh, I love these white brats. Well, there we go, that looks pretty tight. It's not gonna be waterproof, but it'll keep a light drizzle off me and definitely keep the snow out. Well, it's not perfect, but I think we got it buttoned up pretty good. Oh, I tell you what, it's nice up here. So much of that fire's heat is coming up on this platform. Toasty warm. I think it's time to make some dinner. All right, got a little potato there. This is a tomahawk steak, and it is a gorgeous one.
Mm. Oh, that is a good steak. Oh my goodness, this is so much food. But the good thing about winter camping, the food doesn't go bad. I'll just uh, put that in the snow and it'll be good for tomorrow. A little salt and butter on a baked potato. Not bad at all. It's been one heck of a meal. All right, for dessert, I've got Ling Hee Mui flavored gummy snacks from Hawaii. <laughs> Anything covered in Ling Hee Mui powder is amazing. If you've never had Ling Hee Mui powder, it's uh, really hard to describe, but you should go to Hawaii and try it out. That was an amazing meal. But I've got a belly full of delicious food, a warm fire, and a cozy shelter. So it's not a bad day. Oh, looks like I caught my shelter on fire. Now yeah, I better go deal with that. Oh, da -da. Catching your shelter on fire is a major issue. All of this wood right here is dry and warm, and if a fire starts, it spreads pretty quick. Now, if you're awake and paying attention, you can put it out pretty quick. But if I was asleep up here when that happened, woo, I could be engulfed in flames before I realized what was going on. And this stuff up here is really dangerous. If this stuff catches on fire, I am not gonna be able to put it out in time. When I'm sleeping in these shelters, I'll often let the fire go out or I'll keep it really small and make sure it is far away from the walls. And in a shelter like this, where it's a little bit hard to get in and out of, uh, I gotta be extra careful. So I'm probably not gonna sleep with the fire on. It's not that cold tonight, I don't need it. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna make sure the fire's a little bit further away from the walls. Well guys, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've got enough firewood for tonight and tomorrow morning. Nothing worse than getting up in the cold and then having to go out and gather firewood. Well, I am exhausted, but it's not quite my bedtime. So I'm gonna turn on an audiobook, I'm gonna shell some peanuts, and I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, it's so cozy in my sleeping bag, but I have to use the bathroom so bad. I think I better get out, get the fire started. Oh, that fire warms this place up so quickly. <laughs> it's nice. All right, I think it's time to get some breakfast made.
Got ourselves a lovely breakfast. Mmm. I got some smoked pork jowl bacon, homemade crumpets that I'd made a few days ago, fried tomato, egg. Not bad at all. Mmm. Butter and crumpets is hard to beat. If you never had them, they're kind of like thick pancakes. Really similar recipe to pancakes. Oh, that was good. Well, I think it's time to start straightening up. Well guys, I'm heading home, but this is not the end of the video. First, I wanna go get my son and my wife and bring them over and show them the shelter. But also, I need to take the shelter down. So that's something else I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you too. Driving to the shelter, woo! Does it look nice? Oh, hot dog sticks! Yeah, we got hot dog sticks. It looks cooler in person, actually. It does? You like yeah. it? Let me get the caribou hides out, and you guys can hang out on the bed while I get some lunch made. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Alright, should I get a fire start and get some lunch made? Yeah! Alright, let's do it. Here, Mama, let me hand you the lunch. There's some gummy snacks in there. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's for you. Yeah, you don't get to do this very often, do you? No. Oh. This is fun to try it out. You guys like eating gummy snacks in the fort here? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> we got some hot dog sticks here. Mm. Okay. Sweet. My first. All you right. Sure? Yeah. You like your extra long hot dog stick? I do. This is very convenient. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's you want another? Think of a hot dog stick. You like that? Is that a good lunch? So mama, what do you think? Is this shelter warm? Yeah, I'm really cozy. I love the hide I'm sitting on. It's soft. <laughs> yeah, no, this is pretty cozy. I'm, Bye, I'm mama. Like... <laughs> uh -huh. I like how the heat comes up underneath your bottom and warms your bottom up. Yeah, it is nice. You good? You're full? Yeah. All right. Good. I think it's time to tear the shelter down. Aww. Oh, we got to pull this all apart. Make sure there's no paracord, no trash. All right, let's get to it. All right. <laughs> Well, there we go. It's all taken down and all that wood's ready to be chopped up into firewood. Well, babe, did you enjoy it? I did. It's fun. Oh, you're good. You ready? All right, let's go. Well, Liz, this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.